We think the Earth is a differentiated planet. When we analyze the results of seismic waves that go through the interior of the Earth, created by earthquakes, and their patterns of arrival and their times of arrival, we come to the conclusion that the Earth consists of layers, that there is a dense layer near the center and a less dense layer outside of that, and so forth, kind of like an onion with layers inside of layers. Well, this bottle kind of uh, would help us to understand how a planet might become a differentiated planet, one that's separated into layers. Into this bottle, I've put a combination of things. There's some gravel, the densest material in there, some, some sand, uh, water, some oil, some rather uh, light-looking cellulose material. And if you look at that carefully, you'll see that they are separated into layers. The most dense material at the bottom, less dense, less dense, less dense as you work to the top. Now, if you take that bottle and you shake it and mix them all up together, you'll find that in just a moment, they'll separate again into the layers. The, the more dense materials work their way to the bottom, the less dense materials then float to the top of those and create layers, or a differentiated bottle in this particular case, but it demonstrates the way we believe the Earth differentiated in a planet, uh, differentiated as a planet beginning in a stage which was somewhat molten so that there is opportunity for flow. The more dense material, the iron and nickel, sinks to the center. The less dense material then works its way to the outside with the least dense material of all, the water and the uh, atmospheric gases on the very outside of the planet, a differentiated planet. 